Good morning! Today is the day where I fly on my four-week vacation to Japan, Thailand, and Hong Kong. Right now, I have exactly eight hours before I have to be at the airport. And honestly, I'm feeling very anxious. As you can see in the background, I have a lot of plants and I want to make sure they're taken care of while I'm away. Starting yesterday, I already started to spray them all down with pesticide just to prevent any pest issues from coming up while I'm away. Besides all the prep work, I also got like super lucky, like very, very lucky that one of my family members is going to be taking care of my cats and he also happens to have some plant knowledge. He came yesterday and I walked him through all the care for my plants and cats. He seemed very confident, which is always a good sign. Um, as you can see in the background, I also rearranged some of my plants for him. Let's go check out what I did. Uh, another thing I'm going to do today is also water my plants so that they're all hydrated and he doesn't have to worry about watering them until next week or something. So yeah, it looks super packed and, you know, super crammed, but at least everything's concentrated and it just makes it a lot easier for him when he needs to water my plants. And, you know, as much as I miss the plants, I will definitely miss my cats more. Oh, look at you. Ever since I took out the suitcase, it seems like they know that we're going on vacation. And she's just been like hanging out with me more. Same thing with Thing, he's just been like hanging out with me and sitting in my suitcase. <laughs> uh, for my more delicate plants, like the anthuriums over here and also the anthuriums over here, I'm more concerned about because they do require more attention and care. I'm not sure how they'll do without me. So who knows, they'll probably thrive without me here, you know? Um, so we'll see. I'm also gonna be missing a lot of new leaves that are coming out. Right now we're in April and there's so much new growth. Like look at this red queen. It's pushing out this new leaf that's like sticking out of the shelf and it seems like it's the biggest leaf that it's gonna produce. Hopefully, we'll get some photo updates on these plants. Same with this um, not very variegated Monstera Albo. Finally, there's a new leaf pushing out and I just want to see if there's like variegation on it, you know? Very curious. Monstera Thai Constellation. Oh my god, I've been watching this little nub. I've been staring at him for months. I feel like it's gonna push out a new leaf this month. I don't know, we'll see. My Philodendron Florida Beauty just pushed out this very beautiful leaf. You see that light green? All of that is gonna turn into this very nice creamy white color and I'm just very excited to see that. And it's still soft, so it's gonna get even bigger. Here are some more plants at this desk area. Honestly, all these plants are super low maintenance. Um, this Calithea might be a little bit worried about. It's doing so good now. There's a lot going on and I'm gonna miss my plants and my cats, honestly. I haven't been away from them for this long since the pandemic. Since I graduated from college, I haven't been this long away from them, so I'm definitely going to miss them a lot. But I'm also very grateful that my family member is available to just, you know, help me out and take care of them while I'm away. So see you guys in Asia and see you guys when I come back from my trip.
it's Fiona again and after being away from the feline jungle for over a month I am finally back with my plant babies and my two cat babies. Excuse the mess that's in the background. Um, we got back home a couple days ago but because of jet lag and just feeling tired we haven't gotten a proper chance to unpack everything so I want to give you guys an update on my plants. My uncle did a really good job taking care of them and honestly they look great for me being like away for a month so let me show you guys around quickly so here's the plant wall and honestly everything looks amazing there's so much new growth like look at this thing that this new leaf that's coming out of my monstera constellation i'm very excited about this i think before we left this was um only like a little two inch nub and right now it's like the size of my hand so it really grew a lot since I was away. And then also this golden dragon is doing amazing. It's really climbing onto this moss pole that we made for it. And look at this new leaf. It's gorgeous. It's so glossy. This was like one of the first leaves that I noticed since I got back home that day. Some new growth on my philodendron red queen. Look at the size of this leaf. How like he has to give me some tips because this leaf is huge. Whatever he's doing, the plants were loving it. There was some like uh, old leaves that dropped off, which is like pretty normal. Like I should travel more. These plants are doing great. And then down here on this lower shelf, we have these plants that are also doing great. I remember when I left, I was really sad about not seeing um, this Philodendron Florida Beauty Leaf Harden. I remember it's still like really light green. And now look at the variegation on it. The color is amazing. And there's actually a new leaf that came out afterwards while I was away. Not much variegation, but looks super healthy. Also, I want to talk about this Philodendron Gloriosum. This is a brand new leaf that also grew out uh, this month and it's just amazing. Looks like there was some accidents with this ZZ plant, like this got crushed, but I'm not too worried about it. Overall, it looks great for me being away for a month. Chucky already put it on this shelf. He always wanted a pet gecko and since we can't get a real one, he was satisfied with this fake one that we got in Japan and it's just adorable. He already found a place for it in my feline jungle. There were some casualties that happened in here. Like you can see this Anthurium crystallinum. This one, the variegated Adansonii, went to plant heaven, but that's okay. This was a baby plant, so I knew it would be hard for him to care for and like understand its specific needs. But Jewel Orchid over here seems to be loving it. This Stephanie Erecta. So before I left, it didn't have like a stem coming out of it. And I noticed this stem when I came back. It woke up from being dormant. So it looks like there's even little flowers that are growing on it. That's new. I never had that happen before. So whatever he was doing, he is doing a great job. Maybe I should go on vacation more. Sorry for the mess. Suitcases are still out. You know, he did a great job and he actually brought these into the sink and soaked them in water. So this pothos is also thriving. He was really proud of these two plants. He was like, oh my God, the plants in the stairwells look so great. <laughs> the plants down here also looked great. There's a new leaf on this plant. I forgot what it's called. I think it's a philodendron fuzzy. And before I left, I had no leaf. And this new leaf came out of his care. Isn't that amazing? And looks like this variegated epiprenum also has a new leaf coming out. What? Look at this so pretty he did a really good job um now that i'm back i just have to water it a little bit more like this monstera deliciosa looks a little bit dehydrated but that's okay speaking about the florida green again this is the bottom cutting and before i left i was sure that there was only like one leaf coming out but since i came back look there's two new leaves and a third one forming isn't that crazy before I leave you guys with this update, 
maybe I'll give you guys a mini haul of all the things that we got on our trip. Let me just clean everything up a bit. The table is cleared. I didn't want to overwhelm you of everything that we got on the trip, so I selected a few of my favorite things that are related to feline jungle to share with you all. So here I have some pins that I got from Hong Kong. This will be in our Hong Kong episode where we went to a plant cafe, and in that plant cafe, they're known for these staghorn ferns, so I definitely had to get a pin of this, and also a pin of my favorite plant, which is the philodendron for a beauty like why can't they have stuff like this in the u.s like this is beautiful i love them so much i also got this cute postcard from the plant cafe and it's all these staghorn ferns eyeing this banana it's a mystery to me but let me know what you guys think about them staring at the banana this is actually from Muji. They have like a book section and this book is about like interior design but for cats. So how to make like cat furniture and like integrate things for them to play, sleep and you know things like that into our home. So it's a really cool book and definitely going to get a lot of inspiration on how to add more cat elements to the feline jungle. Another book that I got was also from Hong Kong. This is so cute. This is um, Shop Cats of Hong Kong. So it's basically like humans of New York, but um, cat version and specifically cats in Hong Kong. Um, besides that, I also got a lot of ceramic stuff. Since I couldn't bring back live plants from my trip, I got a lot of things um, for the plants, like these pots. These are teacups with um, koi fish inside, which I thought was really interesting. I was thinking I can use this for drinking tea or putting like aquatic plants. That would be really cool. Like the penny warts would look really cool in this. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I just bought it just because I can. And I bought them in all four different colors that they have. I also bought a lot of pots from Thailand. Oh my God, the plants in Thailand were amazing. Like I wish I could buy everything there, but I couldn't. I did make a lot of videos on it and it's gonna be in the Thailand episode. You have to check it out. You wanna see a lot of rare plants for like, $2, $10, you gotta check out that video. It was eye-opening. Anyways, I wanna show you some of the pots that I got from Thailand. I haven't opened this yet, so it'll be a surprise to me too. I don't really remember what I bought. This is like $2 in the market, and I just love how it's this darker terracotta color and it has this glaze on it. Um, it's only semi-glaze, which gives it a lot of fun textures and I just love how it looks. I don't remember what I got. Oh, I remember this. This is another pot I got in Thailand. I don't remember the price of this, but it also has like a really interesting glaze to it. The undertone is this pale clay color and then it has this bright orange ceramic that looks like little drops. I feel like I got more than one of this, but this is the orange one. Yeah, so I really like the technique they use for these pots. Like the, the kind of drip, the kind of like drip effect, the texture that puts on it. So I got another one in green and this one has a black undertone to it. So I think I got a few more terracotta pots. So I remember this one was at like a corner store in the market and I just really like this square shaped pot. It has this line texture on it and I just love how it looks geometrically. So this is another pot that I got from Thailand. They're all mini pots. I was running out of space in my suitcase so I kept everything small. What is this one? Oh, two pots and then I got more terracotta pot. So this one has like a bark texture to it, which I thought was pretty interesting too. And then this one has um, a brick pattern. It's also a terracotta pot. Probably put some Hoyas in it. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put in it yet. And here is the same one. This is the last pot. It's the same one as the first one I showed. This semi-glazed pot. They make a really cute pair. Here it is. So I did get 
something in Japan. I remember I did. It's right in front of the Osaka castle. They had like a little flower market going on. They didn't allow us to film it, which is fine. Um, I just got these like cute little pots from there. I think they're for like mini bonsai trees or something. I don't even know what to do with them. I just thought they looked cute, so I got them. Ta-da! They're so tiny. Let me know what I should put in these pots because I'm not really sure. And the last thing I got was these figurines from Thailand. In Asia in general, they like to decorate their plants with a lot of figurines. So they had this store in Thailand that just had like these these little figurines to put in your plants here. It's pretty bizarre. Yes, you didn't see this wrong. It's a cat riding on a rubber ducky. I don't know why, but I love it. So I got it. Not really sure what to do with it yet, but it's giving a lot of good vibes. <laughs> and then I also got, I don't remember what these are called, but it's from this Gillaby Studio movie called Princess Minoki and they have these spirits that glow in dark in the forest and I love that movie a lot so I got this. Also from a movie I liked a lot is um, Spirited Away. I absolutely love that movie and I probably watched it like a hundred times and this is um, No Face from that movie. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment. <laughs> And then the last one I got is just, just a cute little cat sleeping. So I thought this would be perfect for like a tiny terrarium where um, it's made out of probably like pileas or live moss and you have like a cat sleeping in the middle. I thought that would be really cute. So I got this little cat. These are just some of the things that we got from our trip. And I'm definitely going to incorporate it into our home, into the feline jungle. There's a lot that happened on the trip and we filmed so much footage, so much good content that we want to share with you. We gave you a little teaser um, in the beginning of this video and I hope you guys are excited for the next few videos where we take you to Japan, Hong Kong and Thailand. So stay tuned. I'm glad to be back and I miss you guys so much. See you guys soon again. Bye.